Well, she has apologized and promised to pay a fine, but criticism over a recent driving incident is still coming. Councilwoman Karen Tolles was caught last week going 50 miles over the speed limit. She got a warning and a ticket, but some feel that wasn't enough. Denise Douglas joins us now with more on this story. Hi, Denise. Hey there. You know what? There is no shortage of opinion on this story, but a lot of people that we talk to think that she got off lightly with just a warning for doing over 100 miles an hour and a $90 ticket for unsafe lane changing. We tracked down Councilwoman Tolles today, and here's what she had to say. Though we tried to ask, Councilwoman Karen Tolles refused to answer any questions about the situation that has her in hot water as she left an event at Iverson Mall. Any questions? But some in the audience had plenty to say. There's no excuse to be uh, speeding at that 100 miles an hour which means that you put your life in jeopardy as well as others. Everybody knows that you don't go 100 miles per hour when you're driving. And I think that she was so anxious to get to that meeting that she was just speeding, which is the wrong thing. Tolls was clocked doing about 105 in a 55 mile an hour zone on the Beltway near Branch Avenue. She received a citation for unsafe lane changing but some believe the warning for speeding was a slap on the wrist. Well, I think she should be like all the other citizens. If it was wrong, she deserves whatever the punishment is. Reaction on her Facebook page was just as harsh, many posting that she should have been thrown in jail. Major James Harper denies tolls received special treatment. I know citizens are concerned about if it were them, if it were them. Um, there are citizens who have received warnings, so this is not just something special for a special person, not at all. And those citizens who have gotten warnings, it would be great for them to come forward and say, no, I've gotten a warning. I was leaving a meeting, going to another meeting. Tolls issued a statement apologizing, saying she was rushing from one meeting to another. She repeated it at the senior safety event at the mall. And I consider people violations a very serious matter and I regret the incident. And I intend to pay the, pay the appropriate fine for these moving violations. Still, whether that will be enough remains to be seen as some question if the incident will cause her to lose support or damage her political career. Some people feel that you were treated with special Well, still a lot of questions surrounding this incident. The police department issued a statement saying that officers have discretion in issuing warnings and tickets. They also say that the camera in the officer's dash cam that took the video at all of this is being reviewed at this point. So we'll have to see exactly what that says and what it shows us in more enlightenment as to what happened out there, obviously. I think a lot of people were surprised that she actually showed up to this event. Very much so. Uh, there were <laughs> bets, so to speak, out on whether or not she would uh, come. And, yeah, a lot of people very surprised. Very surprised also that she addressed the issue. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll just have to see what happens from here. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Denise, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Prince George's police tonight are defending the traffic citation issued to County Councilwoman Karen Tolles. But as Tahira Lindsay reports, the department now says the case will be examined by a review board.